Hi, my name is Lynn. Welcome back to my channel, or this is actually literally probably the first time you've ever came to my channel considering how intimate the platform is. We're growing, manifesting, manifestation, manifesting, manifesto. Anyway, I was <laughs> like, why I just put all those words together? Basically, this is the most random angle I could literally do, and I just feel like my whole channel consists of like that same exact sentiment. Um, I moved across the country. Because my ancestors told me to. <sighs> and honestly, I've only been like away from home for like five days, and... I have met so many people that can like literally put me in situations and rooms that I have literally like been manifesting to be in. Also, yeah, it's just beautiful. And I am too. Hey, <laughs> simple as that. I am grateful, that's what I was going to say, but I too am beautiful. So that is something I'm grateful about at all times as well so yeah basically my guy's been telling me to my guides have allowed me to see that I was going to be living in the part of the world that I am today for years like since uh like grade school age right and so when I got into an um, my adult years, it literally became like a process of growing up. I knew that I had to be a certain version of myself before I came out here to attract um, what I desire in a way that's in alignment with my highest self. Because as we know, all of our desires is not in alignment with our highest self. It's a lot of Scorpio on my chart, and so I am consumed with desires, right? Not to say I am, like, non-committal, because I feel like when we use the word desires, it's like, it, it, I don't know what the fuck it translates to. But understand that I am committal. I'm just... Yeah, I'm just pursuing my desires. And I would love to create a life where I'm doing that at all times. And I don't think that's crazy. And matter of fact, I refuse to think it's crazy because my ancestors are showing me, they have proven to me that's absolutely not. Now, is it hard work? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's a lot of like, sacrifice but honestly i'm gonna link down below my life goes on video i'm no stranger to sacrifice that type of sacrifice when i don't want to ever have to go through again but um with that being said having that kind of sacrifice be something that is as prominent in my reality as it is it kind of makes literally every other sacrifice feel like Oh, I know I can handle this. If I can handle like the life goes on video, just check it out, you'll figure it out. Then I can handle this. Now, does it feel comfortable all the time? No. What am I talking about? I'm speaking in code and in layers. And if you the girls that get it, get it. And if you don't get it, you might you just don't resonate and that's okay. You can just observe. That's what this channel's for. But yeah, basically I have left the I'm staying on this treadmill. It's my second time working out today. It's a gym in the apartment complex I'm staying in, and I just literally love it so much. But I, um, I feel like I do miss what I left behind so dearly that it's like this transition is just such a transition. But I don't want to go back. I miss what I left dearly, but I don't want to go back. Oh, damn. I'm in this. Okay, I never knew that's how you did it, so. What the fuck is this?
Okay. Okay. Let me not just press buttons while I'm trying to film this video. Basically, when it's all said and done, it's nothing else to do and say. And I feel like I have been running into instances and connections where that is just the reality of it. And not to say that's indefinite, but for the moment, it's kind of just like, yeah, I have shit that I absolutely have to do. And it's like, I would love to like, not like, you know what I mean? Not, not in the sense that I don't feel like it's worth it or I'm not eager to. I'm just saying not in the sense that I didn't necessarily wanna have to choose between this or that. I hope that makes sense to someone, anyone. It makes sense to me, yeah, so hope fulfilled. Anyway, it just dawned on me that my great grandmama literally is the daughter of a slave. And so for me to have the ability to desire to the degree that I do, I have to, to fulfill them because anything else is disrespectful. Okay, so that's literally the moral of the story and yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Lynn and I don't know what to expect and that is something that makes me feel like I'm really in alignment and not in the matrix anymore. And I don't know, I'm just adjusting to withdrawing from said matrix. It feels so free and so open, like I have so much space that like, yeah. That's, that's about, that's the jazz, yeah. So when I can finish that sentence, I will make a part two. With that being said, in the description box will be linked down below a poem book that I published called Gangster Only, a gang of poems, two ways to publish themselves. It's pretty epic. Also in my book, Quarantine Chronicles, it's like diary entries and just my thought process and observations I was making during uh, 2020 and that whole flatten the curve two week thing and it literally lasted like years. And I have a blog called Life in Ink, and it's my crown chakra's perception of my heart chakra's orientation. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one.